Hi, this is Ambie from Board Game Blitz, and this is my news update vlog thing for November 1st, 2021. Vlog thing. News update vlog thing. We didn't have any guest appearances or Dice Tower videos in October, but if you want to follow some stuff that I've been doing outside of Board Game Blitz, I launched my personal website at ambivaldez.com. I'll link to it in the description. And I also announced that I will be making a children's book um, with uh, Rachel from Semi Co-op. She's illustrating it. So like, yeah, uh, we're starting working on that. I, I printed out a PNP copy, not PNP, but print and read, P P and R. Uh, yeah, so I'm prototype kind of of the sketches so far. It's called Board Game Day, and it's gonna be like a board book, children's book, uh, rhyming children's book, because that's the type of things that I can do. So uh, I'm really excited for that. Um, and yeah, you can check out my website for updates on that and there's also a facebook group that you can join if you're interested so like yeah if you have like young kids who like board games it might be good also speaking of kids who like board games my next how to play children's song how to play children's game song i don't know what i called it but that the next one of that my next music video is coming out tomorrow on this channel if you want a sneak preview of the audio i released the audio earlier on my bandcamp and that's ambivaldez.bandcamp.com so the one tomorrow it will be for hungry as a bear which is another hobba game for two-year-olds um yeah so that'll be a fun song also if you watch us on twitch you may have noticed that I am no longer streaming jigsaw puzzles during the day, and that is because my kids decided that they don't need a nap anymore. Well, one of them decided he doesn't need a nap anymore, and so uh, I no longer have that chunk of time to stream. So I am still doing Thursday night streaming, and Crystal is still doing Tuesday night streaming board games, but uh, jigsaw puzzle streaming is currently on a hiatus for uh, some amount of time, probably like a year. <laughs> So for acquisitions in October, I only got one acquisition, but it's a big one. It's the Exit Advent Calendar. Um, uh, this actually came out last year in German only, and I'd been wanting it then, but like, I don't know German. So uh, this year it came out in English, and I thought it was only going to be in the UK, but then I found it on Amazon US. Um, yeah, so I was able to get it here. And it came in a much bigger box than I was expecting it to be. I guess it has 24 puzzles in it. So, um, but yeah, Exit is the escape room type board game series um, that I like with a lot of like riddles and stuff. Uh, and this is, I guess, just 24 puzzles of that, which I thought, like usually each, each box is small, like that size or something. And there's like six puzzles in each box. So it seems like this is a lot bigger than four times that, but we'll see. Hopefully it's fun. I'm excited for it, but I can't start until December. In the comments of last month's news update vlog thing, Ross Updike commented that I could talk about some highlights in board gaming uh, over the last month as a new segment. So here's a new segment with some highlights of board games that I played. I'm actually filming this on October 29th, so there's a couple more days in October, and I do have game night scheduled tomorrow to play one game at least. So uh, this isn't all of the stats, but I have logged on BG stats, 24 plays, uh, 15 different games, and eight of them were new to me. So for my favorite new to me game of this month, I'm going to say it's a tie between Robots and Aeon's End. Uh, Robots is a cooperative card game that I think was nominated for a Kinderspiel. I don't know if it won, but it's kind of like the mind where you're it's cooperative and you're trying to like read other people's mind, but um, there's no numbers or anything. You're robots trying to follow the speed along a path. So someone is, goes beep, beep, and you try to like guess how far along on the path they went through those beeps. So I like that type of game. Um, so yeah, robots is a lot of fun. And then also Aeon's End. Uh, I only played a partial game of that though, so I want to play it more. It's a deck builder. Um, cooperative deck building game but you don't shuffle your cards you like when you play your hand you can choose what order to discard them in and then when you flip your deck back over like that's the order they're in so you can kind of plan ahead to get good combos and stuff although we played against uh, an enemy that 
the like their attack shuffles your deck so we kind of like didn't get that whole not shuffling coolness of the game as much and it was pretty hard but i i do want to try that again for upcoming games that i'm most looking forward to it's lord of the rings journeys in middle earth this isn't a new game but i we restarted a new campaign of lord of the rings journeys in middle earth with our friends and um, i've only gotten to like the second scenario ever and so i'm hoping that we'll get further than that in this campaign and i'm excited to start it again because i really enjoyed the game but like it kind of we had started like right before i gave birth to my twins and then we haven't played in a long time so i'm excited for lord of the rings journey in middle earth and that's it for this month's news update vlog thing thanks for watching board game blitz